It's starting to heat up in Las Vegas and that means that the hot summer months are just around the corner. And I'm talking about hot. Average high temperatures of over 100 degrees. In July alone, the average high temperature is 107. It is ridiculously hot. We have been here when it's been 117 degrees. We're here about every two weeks and so we've seen all of the weather temperatures and it gets insanely hot to the point where you will see people sitting down on the sidewalk or over by the pool area or even in the casino and you can just tell they've had a heat stroke it's too much for them so in today's video we're going to share some tips with you on how to best prepare for the summer months in las vegas getting a dip in the pool, it can be sort of dangerous and let me tell you why. There's a lot of sun and not a lot of shade and you're sitting out here in over 100 degree temperatures. That could be dangerous for heat stroke, dehydration, a lot of different things. So if you are not going to upgrade to a day bed or a cabana and get some shade, you got to do a few things. First of all, you got to make sure you have sunblock, maybe a hat, your sunglasses on. The second, don't just sit there all day because that could really be bad. You're gonna get sunburn and definitely you're not gonna feel good in a while. So make sure you get up, go in the pool, maybe walk over to the pool bar, sit in some shade. And if you are gonna drink while you're out here, make sure that you are drinking a lot of water. My rule of thumb is to have one water per every drink that I get, just so I stay hydrated because you can really mess yourself up and you're gonna go back to your room, you're gonna feel like crap. And I've had people that have really felt sick the whole rest of their trip because they came out here and they just overdid it at the pool area. So if you're gonna come out here and have a good time, just remember those few trips so that that way you have a, an experience that you're not going to regret later on. One way that you can beat the heat is to really plan your activities according to the temperature outside. So what we recommend doing is to plan your daytime activities indoors. So the things that you can do indoors during the daytime are things like the Bellagio Conservatory, go take a trip to the Mob Museum and check that out, come to one of these massive shopping malls that they have at several casinos and hotels. So we're here at the Grand shops at the Venetian. You can even take a gondola ride over there. But there's also the fashion show mall that's across the street from the wind. The Forum shops over at Caesars, Miracle Mile shops over at Planet Hollywood, and the shops at Mandalay Bay. And they have great restaurants as well, so you can grab a bite to eat while you're there. And you can also do your gambling during the day, and there are some benefits to it. If you're a slot player, you're going to find more open slot machines, and you might find the lower table limits at the casino as well if you're playing the table games. So if you are then doing your indoor activities during the day, you can go outside at night, and that's what I would recommend doing because it's a little bit cooler. So if you want to like take a walk down the strip and then just check out different properties, you can do that at night. But that's when you can check out the Bellagio Fountain, of course the Mirage Volcano. You can go over to the Neon Museum and check that out. Fremont Street has excellent live music, so check that out. And then go to Carnival Court over at Harris for more live music. In front of New York, New York, they have live bands as well. And of course, just people watching at the evening time is incredible because you're gonna see people all dressed up going to dinner. There's just people out and about. Go over to the Link Promenade, do some people watching there to maybe take a ride on the high roller or the zip line. Uh, the nighttime is when it's a little bit cooler and that's where you're gonna to wanna to do all those nighttime activities. So of course when you're in Vegas, you don't necessarily just want to stay at your hotel, you want to explore, right? So you think, okay, I'm just going to walk down the street to get to wherever I need to go. But well, let me just tell you that in the summer months, I don't even know how to say this, but it is f***ing hot. 
hot in Las Vegas. You have like over 100 degree temperatures every day. It's not like it gets cool some days. No, it's hot every day. And so walking from point A to point B may seem like nothing to you, but when you're in this heat, let me tell you, it is something and it is exhausting. So you may want to consider taking transportation, like get an Uber or taxi, take the monorail or the juice bus. But if you must walk, there are ways that you can do it with avoiding the outdoor locations as much as possible. A lot of the hotels have bridgeways to other hotels or you can just walk outside, do a, go over one of those pedestrian walkways to get to the next hotel. And sometimes you will end up out on the street though and that's sometimes unavoidable, but things that you can do to kind of keep yourself safe from the heat exhaustion is to wear your sunglasses, a hat, you know, get that sunblock on to protect the skin and make sure that you have water with you. So I know I already talked about playing your casino games during the daytime to avoid the heat. Well, maybe you're casino hopping and you're going outside from casino to casino and you're walking out in the extreme heat and then coming inside the casino here. Well, one of the things you need to know is that they keep these places like freezing cold and sometimes when you're outside and you come in, it initially feels pretty refreshing. But I'm gonna tell you like five minutes later, it feels pretty cold. It's really hard to regulate your temperature when you're out in that extreme heat and coming into very cold temperatures. So I know a lot of people will take like a light sweater with them, maybe wrap it around their waist, throw it in your backpack, but just something to keep in mind if you're a person that has a hard time regulating temperature in your body. So even though the music festivals are typically held sort of in the shoulder season, like May and September, it's still hot during those months. And they know better because they usually have these things late at night or overnight, and I'm thinking EDC. So the EDC is in May, and our sun has been several years, and they have it overnight, but it's still hot out there. And some lessons you can learn from that is they have hydration stations all over the place. They really want to keep you hydrated. And the same goes if you're out and about at night in Las Vegas or at one of those music festivals. Stay hydrated. It's still warm at night. It's not like it cools down that much. So, but the music festivals in Las Vegas, they know better. They hold them at night because in the daytime, it's way too hot. Even though the heat in the summer months can be absolutely brutal, there's no reason you can't come to Las Vegas and have a good time. Just follow the, some of the tips that we gave you in this video, and maybe you have tips of your own that we didn't share. Make sure to drop them in the comments below and let us know what they are. Now, if you're looking to plan a Las Vegas vacation and need some help, watch this video for some tips. And if you just wanna binge on some of our Las Vegas content, be sure to check out this playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.